What's going on Port fans, welcome back to another video on my channel and today we're going to be having a look at Port Adelaide's draft pick history over the course of the last 20 odd years that we've been a part of these drafts and with draft week um, firmly in place and speculation on who Port Adelaide is going to pick, let's just have a look back into memory lane and see um, who we've picked up from our first round and top 10 picks specifically. It would take forever to go through um, each pick and you know pull it apart. So we're just going to look at the first round and top 10 picks. So without further ado, let's get it straight into Port Adelaide's draft pick history um, since entering the AFL. So since the beginning, since 1996 when we entered our first draft um, coming in as an AFL club, uh, we've had 13 top 10 picks and over 20 uh, first round picks since then. We've util util utilised them quite well. Uh, we've picked up some good players. So we'll go through them straight away. So our top 10 picks that we've had since, um, you know, 1996, our first draft. Um, and since then as well, we've had Chad Corns' pick nine, Josh Carr was a pick seven, Michael Stevens, who I've never heard of before, was pick five in the 98 draft. Um, 90, uh, I think it was 2001, Stephen Salapek was... Uh, pick six, Travis Boak was our next one. So we hadn't had a six. We had a six-year period where we didn't have a top ten pick, um, and he was pick five in 2006. Um, Hamish Hartlett was pick four, who coincidentally is our highest ever pick um, in draft history. Um, Andrew Moore was pick nine. John Butcher was pick eight. That was in the 2009 draft. Um, and then Chad Wingard was pick six. Unfortunately, I don't know what's happened to him now, but. Um, he was pick six, and then Ollie Wines was an absolute steal at pick seven. Um, he wasn't meant to go that high. Same with Chad Wingard, too. They both weren't supposed to go that um, that low in the draft, but in the end, pick six and seven for a couple of superstars, and obviously one's headed off. So looking at that talent, I'd say majority worked out really well. Chad Corns and Josh Carr, Premiership stars. Travis Bikes, the captain. Hamish Hartlett has a lot of talent and is a great player. Wingard, obviously, we know his um, brilliance around the ball, and he's now at Hawthorne. Ollie Wines is a future captain of the club. Some that didn't work out, though, out of those top 10 picks, Andrew Moore and John Butcher. Obviously, we know what happened with Butch. He couldn't quite kick that ball straight. And Andrew Moore, well, he was a he was almost a wasted talent, really. Um, he, he was very effective and could get the ball really well, just didn't take his opportunity. Steven Salopek was a personal favourite of mine. The Pecker. Just unfortunately, his career was just injury riddled, and to have such a high, um, high quality player and get so much possessions, unfortunately, everything about his career was high, including um, his injury count. So first rounders, um, you know, these are picks that happened underneath uh, pick 19, pick 18, uh, but still inside that top 20. Um, you look at, you know. Paul Coolaritis, who was at pick 12. Sean Burgoyne was pick 12 as well um, back in 2000. Barry Brooks. Um, a lot of these people I'm mentioning, most of you might, may or may not know. Um, a lot of these are older types um, around my, well, even an older age group. But, you know, Stephen Gillam, who went on to play with Hawthorne, uh, was part of Port Adelaide, played one solid game and get it coincidentally against Hawthorne. Uh, Troy Chaplin, as we know, is the, probably one of the more hated players to leave Port Adelaide. Um, Adam Thompson, he was a personal favourite of mine too. Um, unfortunately, he couldn't get many opportunities. Matthew Lovey, he was pick 16. Um, and now at Carlton. Jasper Pittard, as we know, um, he left during the trade period and he was pick 16 as well. And Ben Jacobs, who is now at North Melbourne, as well as Jasper Pittard and Jared Pollock. Um, was also pick 16. Um, Sam Pau Pepper in the 2016 draft was pick 18. And Todd Marshall, who was our latest um, pick, the, our last first round pick was Todd Marshall. Uh, and he was pick 16 as well. We've had some decent players out of those. And unfortunately, I reckon besides Todd Marshall and Sam Pau Pepper, none of those really worked out. Yeah. That brings me to look at the first ever draft that we had back in 1996. As I mentioned before, we had three picks inside the top 10. Not since 2009 uh, have we had three or more picks inside the top 10. 
Uh, well, inside the first round, actually, sorry. Um, because, obviously, in this year's draft, we've got picks 5, 10, and 15. Um, and, obviously, 2009, we picked up John Butcher, Andrew Moore, and Jasper Pitta. So, the first draft that we had, um, these picks were in the standalone draft, not the rookie draft. So, these were, as I mentioned before, John Rombotis, Bowen Lockwood, Mark Howard Harwood, and Adam Kingsley, who also obviously went on to win a premiership with the Port Adelaide Football Club in 2004. So a lot of a lot of talent in these picks, a lot of talent that has left the club, um, and some couldn't quite work out. But I hope it gives you a little bit of an insight into, you know, not only who we've picked up in the top 10 pick, uh, having top 10 picks, but it's not necessarily, you know, the biggest um, positive to have a pick inside the first round. Uh, majority of those players are sensational stars and uh, either continued um, their careers as, at the moment or you know they're obviously retired um, or some didn't quite work out but it just shows to show that you know there's a lot of pressure on going into the draft and I really think you know with these three picks that we've got 5, 10 and 15 we have to be absolutely spot on um, with who we pick up to um, you know keep pushing for that you know, that flag that we want and so desperately need. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got a little bit of insight, Port fans. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide content coming your way, especially with the draft this week. A couple more videos coming out before Thursday night. Top 10 picks. Um, so I hope you enjoy um, and I hope Port Adelaide pick up some mighty players that we can look forward to watching in the future. Thanks for watching, Port fans. My name is Anthony and as always, come the pair.